valvetime.net. Hi, and welcome to a Valve Time Review. In this episode, we're going to take a look at what is likely the strangest and most ridiculous mod we have ever discussed. We were recommended the oddly named Aminited Millions mod by the creator over on the valvetime.net forums, who described it as a fairly casual exploration mod. Given the weird description and the relatively simplistic looking environment shown in his screenshots, it's fair to say we didn't really have high expectations, or any for that matter. Other than that, Nick knew very little of this mod going in, effectively only switching fraps on to record the whole thing in the event that it would be worth showing. We don't know how long it took to make, why it was made, or what inspired it, and just this once we don't really care about any of those things, as will become apparent very shortly. Now let's stop wasting time and get right to it. While most mods and games open with sequences designed to introduce the game world, its story, or its characters, a minuted millions simply drops you straight into the middle of an odd-looking motel and accompanies you with the robotic voice of the protagonist. Trying to argue a minuted millions as a story would be a fruitless effort, and usually we would take issue with this given the fact that it exists in the first place, but we're definitely going to be making an exception just this once. From the moment the game begins to the moment it ends, extremely simple directions, such as the need to get a drink, form the paper-thin narrative framework which exists only to push the player forward in strange new situations. This is where the main draw of the mod comes in, as you aren't pulled forwards by a desire to see a dramatic conflict unfold or extremely complex and evolving game mechanics, instead it quickly becomes apparent that the world of Aminited Millions is weirder than it may initially appear. You begin by moving from your motel room into a small room filled with buttons. It's initially a little confusing as to what the buttons actually do, but it quickly becomes apparent that each button modifies the appearance of the room in a unique and often extremely interesting way. Maybe the furniture is having a party. Maybe the entire room is pitch black and haunted by mannequins. Maybe the gravity is altered. Maybe everything is giant. Or maybe the walls, floor, and ceiling like to disintegrate on contact. Looking forward to finding out what kind of crazy or unusual designs might be used next was easily enough to keep us entertained for more or less the entire duration, as while some are definitely more creative and interesting than others, the mod is almost always absurd and weirdly hilarious. Now, our description thus far has probably made the mod sound like a bit of a walking simulator, but that's not entirely the case. While exploration is definitely a major part of a minuted million, several other key gameplay mechanics are present, most of which revolve around the discovery, acquisition, and use of crates. While the portal gun is present in a lot of the footage you'll have seen throughout this review, its inclusion is merely part of a video game themed joke, and you can never actually use it within the game world. Depending on the type of room and its layout or design, each individual room tasks the player with finding either a button or a switch, or something completely different on rare occasions. Boxes and items must then be taken to other rooms and used to solve various simple and regularly ridiculous puzzles before eventually unlocking a new area upon correctly completing every puzzle within that specific motel theme. While many areas are simply abstract and a little weird, a lot of them actually introduce new, interesting gameplay mechanics which are only used an extremely small number of times at best, making exploration feel fresh and new as you're constantly greeted by not only interesting new visual or spatial scenarios, but gameplay situations. Some of our favorites include a space-themed low-gravity jumping puzzle, a bouncing sequence involving farting toilets, and an oversized labyrinth ball game which involved tipping an entire room. If you're able to reach an alternate ending on an additional map, you'll be met by even more extremely interesting mechanics as you rush against the clock to align numerous room themes. Once aligned, the room themes activate certain environmental rules established over the course of the mod, such as low gravity or a lack of collision detection, which must then be used to solve a number of basic puzzles. As far as a narrative payoff, it's as confusing and as pointless as the rest of the mod, which is probably the most fitting way for a minuted millions to end. In order to customize each room and alternate seamlessly between environmental themes, the mod uses Portal 2's area portal mechanic to provide fun and interesting scenarios without any obvious transitional period or gameplay interruptions, making the whole world seem even more crazy than it ought to. As an hour-long experimental mod, A Minuted Millions takes place almost entirely on a single large map, more or less removing the need to talk about load times or anything like that. For the time being at least, the mod doesn't feature its own standalone game, forcing you to have to load up the main map using the map command within the console. The lack of voice actors, limited writing, complete absence of narrative might be a turnoff for some people, and the mod's basic visual and level design definitely feel amateurish in places, but we're just glad it never takes itself even remotely seriously enough for these to even be considered issues. 
Given how ridiculous the rest of the game is, a lot of the simplicity actually aids the game in its wacky ideas, feeling like deliberate decisions even though they are very clearly not intentional. It's definitely not the typical kind of mod you'd expect us to review, but we thought A Minute in Millions was interesting, humorous, and wacky enough to at least talk about for a few minutes. It's silly, ridiculously stupid, hilarious, absurd, and strangely fun, and it's definitely worth checking out if you've got an hour or so to spare, as long as you don't have a fear of mannequins or the autons from Doctor Who. While it might be a little difficult now that you've watched this review, we would suggest trying to get into the mod with as few expectations as possible in order to fully experience the insanity firsthand. And there you have it. Those are our thoughts on the extremely strange A Minute in Millions mod. We've left a link to the ModDB download page in the video description if this review has intrigued you enough to want to check it out for yourself. If you do take a look, be sure to leave a comment below to let us know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. If you enjoy our content, be sure to share this video with your friends and check out our previous reviews. Thanks for watching and bye for now.